Dawn, good to see you today. Thanks for showing up to make some art. First, a shout out to Any Given Child, to Catharsis Media, to APS, and to you and your families for making this possible. So today we're going to do this really fun project for kindergarten through second graders. If that's not your age range, that's fine. You can jump into, but this is really kind of targeted for that age range. And we're going to be making colorful stories with collage. If anybody joined me for my last lesson, um, we made a whole bunch of different paper that we are going to be using today. So if you did do that, we're going to use those. If not, don't worry. We're going to figure this out. So my name is Michelle, and I also go by Shelly Shucker, and I am a local artist and educator here in Albuquerque in the East Mountains. And um, yeah, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go over the materials that we're going to need. So I always like to encourage people to clear off a space, uh, figure out where you're going to be making your art, and take time to maybe tape off some paper or put down some newspaper. If it's an art table, don't worry about it. Um, and then we're going to use that colorful paper that we made, or if you didn't make the colorful paper with me um, and you want to jump in, just construction paper or um, any kind of pattern paper, newspaper, just pattern paper or colored paper. Um, and then you're going to need white pieces of paper or a solid color for the background, um, kind of your standard size. And then glue. And that could be a glue stick. That could be your squeezy liquid Elmer's glue. Um, and then we're going to use scissors. And if scissors aren't your thing, um, we can rip. So don't worry about it if you're not comfortable with scissors yet. And then we're gonna just add if you want some other things to draw with or paint with. So markers, color pencils, crayons, or some kind of water-based paint. That's not necessary, but that will be kind of to add some details. So then what we're going to do is, um, we're going to be making this little book and I'm just going to show us how to do it with like two pieces of paper that we're going to fold in half. Um, so to get started, since we're going to be making a little story, we're going to either think about or sketch out little characters, people, um, maybe some clouds or food or something that you want to use to tell your story. And again, you can sketch that out or just kind of get the idea in your head. Then, to kind of get us prepared to think about how the, what size we're going to cut these pieces of uh, paper into, we're going to take our pieces of paper, or like eight and a half by 11, and fold them in half, one paper, and then the second paper. So we'll have like two little books. Um, and once you do that, then we're going to start thinking about what's gonna happen in our story. And we folded it so we have four pages, so it'll kind of be like four frames of a story or four frames of a book. And we're going to think about something simple that could happen. Um, for example, rain falling from, the, from a cloud. Um, I'm going to show you one in a little bit about an ice cream cone that melts. Or it could be um, a worm that walks across uh, an apple, like one of the favorite Eric Carl stories. So something really simple um, and fun for you to make. Then we're going to um, cut or tear those shapes. So if we're doing clouds, We'll just rip out that cloud shape or we'll cut the cloud shape. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to begin with our first frame. The first frame will be our first page of the book. Then we'll move to the second one, third, and fourth. And if you want to do more than that, you can, but we'll just start with four pages for today. Once we have our uh, pages kind of laid out, we're going to put the, um, the collages or these shapes on our pages to kind of see how things are going to work. And then we'll glue them down. Once you have them glued down, then maybe we'll go and add some, um, you know, details with our markers or our paints, but that's not necessary. Um, so our key terms for this really cool, fun art project is, the first one is storytelling. So what happens in a story is there's always the beginning, there's the middle, and then there's an end. And we're thinking about what's going to happen over a short period of time or a long period of time. So this is like a sequence of events. Um, the second term is shape. Okay, we all have heard about shapes, um, but there's different ways to think about shapes. Are they round? Are they pointy? Are they square? Um, are they big? Is this going to fill up your page really big or is it going to be a little tiny ladybug? Um, is it moving diagonally? Is it horizontal? Um, is it vertical? So the way that you're putting your shapes and creating your shapes on the page is going to help tell the story. And then the last really important term I wanted to share and talk about today is layering 
and also known as overlapping. And this is an important thing in art because what? It tells us what's behind, what's in front. And when we're creating a collage, we'll glue the thing that's in the back first. Um, so say it's uh, a, the sun and then a cloud comes across and then the rain starts coming down. And so that is going to be a layering overlapping effect um, on our piece of art. And so yeah, those are just a few things to think about before we get started. So super excited, get your materials ready and um, we'll get started. Okay, hopefully you've had a chance to gather some of the materials that we talked about and make some room for them on the table where you're working. Um, and here you can see, I just, I put down, if you were with me the last lesson, I am using the same pieces of paper, which actually looks pretty cool. Um, but I'm going to put that down just to protect the table. And, um, I wanted to show you a book that I had made, um, just before kind of an idea of what we're working towards. And just to mention the papers that, um, we have that we made in the last lesson, so if you don't have something like that, hopefully you have some colored paper or whatever I talked about, like the pattern paper. Um, okay, so I made this little book and it is about a ice cream cone. And then the ice cream cone starts to melt and then it's still melting. And then in the end, it turns into like a little funny person with the cone on the top. So that's just a simple little story that I came up with. And then I even um, decorated the cover and signed my name on the back. So of course yours doesn't have to be exactly like this, but just to give you an idea of kind of what we're going for. So the first thing that I said that we were going to do is think about the story. So I just gave you an idea of what my story is. I'm gonna do another story. I talked about it before, about a cloud that comes across the sky and covers up the sun. Um, so just something simple to start with. And then again, if you wanna make another one of these or add pages to it, by all means, please do. So the first thing I was gonna do is start to um, fold my paper so I have an idea of the size of the shapes that I'm gonna cut out that are gonna go on my folded piece of paper. So I have my two pieces of paper and I'm just gonna fold them in half. And this will give me my frame or composition space. So there's one and then the other one. And then eventually what we can do is glue these sides together for a real simple book. And so now that I have the idea of what my shape is going to be, I'm going to start with my first page, which is this is the cover. So my first inside page right here. And I decided that I do want to have a kind of like a piece of grass or ground going across the whole thing. So you can rip for people who like to rip things or don't want to use a scissors or don't have a scissors, then, um, so I'm going to lay that out and I see, oh, it doesn't reach all the way across. So then I'll just grab another piece and layer it across. And so I also, while I'm working, I wanted to share with you, um, the artwork of Louis Ehlert, Ehlert. Um, and so you can see that she has this beautiful bouquet of flowers. So you can see the different colors and textures that we talked about, um, going across the page, really colorful, uh, movement. And so she's one of my inspirations and her book is right here. We looked at it before. Um, and so I kind of got the inspired by that, by putting this green across the bottom. I'm going to do it across. This is going to be um, glued. So I have one piece that's open. And right now I'm just laying it out before I uh, glue it down. And then I'll do the same thing on the inside of this one. So just ripping it again. And since I know I'm going to need a little extra. And I did say to lay things out, but I think for me, and you can always decide, and that's a cool thing about making art, when is the right time to do something. So I know that I want those green things to be across the bottom. So I'm going to glue that down. I'm using a glue stick. And when I glue, I like to go all the way to the edges. And just take your time. You do not have to be moving at any at the same pace as me. 
just take your time and you can always pause this video while you're folding your shapes or cutting things out or ripping things. And so here's an example of an overlap. I'm overlapping this and then I can kind of see what's going on behind it. I'm really curious what you're making your books about. I bet you have some really cool things that you're imagining and starting to make. Maybe animals or food or things happening in nature or in your house. So there's one. And one thing I really like about collage and the way that I make collages is that um, there's really no mistakes and you can always cover something up. And even later we can use markers or color pencils or paint to make changes or add to it. So this is kind of like my background, even though it's in the, it's kind of like in the foreground, but this is like kind of telling us, or this is telling us where this is taking place to me. This is outside. Um, this is the grass. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have a couple frames that are going to have the a sun in it. And also I would like to mention, so my son is going to be orange. I don't know if you've ever seen the book, um, The Day the Crayons Quit. Have you ever heard, uh, read that book? And orange and yellow get in a fight about what color the sun is. Uh, so today I'm making the sun uh, orange. And since I know I'm going to make a couple frames with the sun in it, I'm just going to cut, I just cut that into quarters. And then I'm going to use my scissors here. So that's going to be easier for me to cut a circle. And then I have my suns. And then I'll put those to the side. And so another artist that maybe you have heard of is Eric Carle. And he wrote The Hungry Caterpillar and a lot of other ones. The the one about the chameleon, um, so many books that he has wrote. And you can see here, really simple storyline um, about the that hungry caterpillar that goes through the fruit. And you'll see the fruit, and then you'll see a hole in it, and then you'll see the worm coming in and out of the fruit. And eventually in the story, of course, the, the fruit gets eaten, and then what happens? Wait for it. Yeah, the caterpillar turns into a butterfly because of all the fruit that it ate and then it goes in the cocoon and comes out and is a butterfly. And so that's a story about transformation. And so all these stories, just like we talked about in the beginning, have a sequence of events and something that's happened that happens just like every day in our life. Okay, so I have my sons. And then now what I want to do is create a cloud. So the first one, actually, I pre-cut some, and you see I try to keep my space organized. <laughs> Always something I'm going back to. I already cut um, some of the rays of my sun. I'm going to cut those in half. And just make some different shapes or different lengths or sizes and so yeah like we talked about the size of the Sun is pretty big and that's okay it's like not exactly realistic um, but I like that because it's like it's this bright sunny day and the size of the Sun is telling me that it's really sunny and for me um, I think it says this right here I'm messy when I work that's why I put that one up because I really am and you could see it maybe if you saw closely in my ice cream story, the pages in the back get a little bit like marks on them. And I like that because it's like texture. Uh, it's not a perfectly white piece of paper, but some people really want to have that uh, really clean white back paper. So it's really up to you.
And here's something that's fun too that I think I'm going to decide to do here um, is to have this piece or have some of the pieces kind of go across onto the other pages. So in some books, it's not happening on this page, but in some pages of books, the two pages that are next to each other are, um, they're in relationship with each other and they're merging into one another. So I'm gonna experiment with that a little bit here. And so then I'm gonna put, um, now this is gonna be the sunny day and then I'm going to start to have a cloud coming across right here. So a cloud to me has a certain uh, that texture, so I'm going to rip my, my cloud out. But first I'm going to make my paper smaller. I always like to make the pages that I'm working with so that my hands can manage the whole piece at one time. So I always try and make it the easiest as possible for me. Um, I know sometimes artwork can be frustrating, but I really try to make it so that it's fun and not something that's frustrating me. So then I'm gonna put a couple of these down. But I'm telling the story about now there's a cloud coming. And then I'm going to skip to the um, last page for the sake of time. And then I will show you what this looks like later when it's all finished. But what I really do want to show you also is um, how to put the two pages together. So I have this first part of my story. It's sunny and now the cloud is coming over. I'm going to fold it. So I have my first part of my book and then the second part, which just has the suns in it right now. So I'm gonna take those two parts and I'm gonna glue these two pages together. If you do have your Elmer's glue, you can use that or you can also use your um, glue stick. And when we're putting um, large surfaces together, I like to put like a big X in the middle and then frame the edges. That should be good. You can always put a little dot, dink, 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 like that. And so we really know that it's going to stick together well. So then I'm going to put this one on top. And just push it down. And then just to show you... Um, so I'm going to work on this later and then I'm going to show it to you at the end, but I just wanted to show you how this book is working now. It has four pages, one, two, three, four, and then um, going back and making a cover here. And so as you saw on this one, I called it the happy melt because it's first an ice cream cone and sometimes we're like, oh bummer, it's melting, but then it turns into a little happy face. And I put my name in like a little funny face at the on the back side. So you can also think about how do you want to put your title on your front page and um, what do you want to do on the back. And so um, you can use rip out parts of your collage to do that. You can add these different things into it. So let me just take before I um, tune out for now, let me just show you maybe how I would add a few things onto this page with my materials that I have here, which is optional. So what I wanna do is put um, some flowers. So I'm just going to add some little details down here. And I kind of make it look the same on each page, but again, as you know, if you've seen me uh, in these any other videos, and I just mentioned, I don't go for super perfection. I just kind of go for like whimsy, fun, colorful, but every artist is different. And then if you did see me when I made this pa paper in the first lesson about how to make colorful paper for collaging, I um, did the splashing of the blue paint. So that's what I'm gonna do at the end for the rain because guess what's gonna happen in my story? Yeah, it's sunny, the cloud comes, it starts to rain, and then guess what happens? You know what happens when there's some sun, clouds, and rain, a rainbow. So I'm gonna show you that. We'll pop it up and show it to you later.
So thanks again. I hope you had so much fun. Can't wait to see your books. Maybe you could take some pictures and send them to us at Catharsis Media or Any Given Child. That was so fun. I hope that you have a really cool story that you enjoy and that you'll share with other people. I had so much fun working with you. And thanks again to Catharsis Media, Any Given Child, APS, and thanks to you and your family. Remember to take it easy and just make some art. See you next time.